What it do, Moan on the Beat. I want to say what's up to all my creators out there, all the musicians out there, artists, everybody that's creating and living out their dreams. So look, man, the AI world is getting crazy. You got some people that like AI. You got some people that don't. Me, I say it's all in how you work with it. So today, I'm going to give you another way that I personally use Suno AI, and y'all should probably do it too. So I know... If you're an artist, producer, anybody that creates music, you have a drive somewhere that has a bunch of files that's just sitting, that ain't doing nothing, that's just collecting dust. Why not see if you could put it in a program like this and generate some new ideas? Maybe it might bring life into it. I know with me, the tracks that I got sitting, there's something that just wasn't sounding right with it or I couldn't figure it out and I just let it stay there. But platforms like this, you can put your non-finished track in there and generate some new ideas or even let the whole thing finish it. I don't think it's cheating. I think it's actually taking your original idea, putting it in the pseudo and seeing what possibilities are there. So today, that's what we about to do. So without further ado, let's go. All right, man. So let's pull up Suno. As you notice, the home page right here. So we're going to go to create. Now, the tool that you use in Suno when it comes to like um, upgrading or breathing new life in the creations that you already got, is called remixing. But what I want to do first, I want to go to my workspace right here. And when I, I want to create a new workspace. And I'm going to call this new light, new light. Why am I calling it new life? Because we're going to take old ideas and we're about to bring new, breathe new life into it. So new life, cool. we're going to start with a fresh workspace. That's how you create a fresh workspace. Anything that we create going to go right in here. So now I have beats, man, from like years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. All right, let's see what I'm going to do here. Now, I mean, to me, that's a throwaway. It was sitting on my computer for a while. I felt like it just it didn't have what I was looking for. So I'm going to put it in Suno and let's see what Suno, let's see if Suno could help me out, kind of like giving me some uh, new life to that. So what I'm going to do is you go right here, you click audio and you click upload. Then I go to my folder and I look for my name. The name, where was it? It was hypnotized Hit right here. Boom. So it, it analyzed the whole song and then I save it. Now you can save to your library, extend, cover. What we're going to do for right now, we're going to save to the library. So we click that and then we go boom. So now it's uploading, it's doing this thing. Once it's finished uploading, it should drop right here. Now, one thing I like is that when it comes to this, you can generate as many different versions of it as you want. And certain versions, they're going to give you certain different ideas. So how to do that, you come over here and you click right here. Now, there's a, you come right here. So there's something right here that's called Remix. And this is it right here, Remix. When you go to Remix, you come over here and you hit Cover. Now, what that's going to do is going to bring your track over here. So now you can tell Suno what you want to do with this. I don't want to. This is an instrumental. So that's why it has instrumental there. This is an instrumental. I don't want no lyrics. This right here is telling you the style. So it's saying it's reading it and it's saying this is what the style is based on what it's reading and it's AI brain. Now, what I want to do is. I want to come down here. You can come down here and give it advanced options. You could come down here and tweak it how you want it, but I want to create a different style. I I want to say, but I was going for on this. It was just like a yeah, it was just like a hard trap beat, like just a hard southern trap. But I mean, it wasn't giving me that bounce. Like the eight oh eight and everything wasn't working for me. So 
create me a hard sound hard south trap beat with piano with pianos and synths. I'm gonna keep it just simple like that and let's see. So I go right here, I click create, and I'm gonna see what it see what it come up with. So you can hear that it took some of the elements and it created a different type of, the loop sounds a little off, but the beat, the, the actual trap beat is bouncing like how I like it to bounce, but the melody ain't right yet. So let's, let's see what the second one got. That's 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 kind of like that was that's what I was looking for right there. But now that I hear this, I want to see if I could take it somewhere else because it seemed like it can go, it seemed like it could go ghetto gospelish. So I'm gonna change the prompt right here. Create me a hard south ghetto gospel gospel soul trap beat with pian with pianos and string, pianos, organs, and strings. Now let's see what it create. That that second one, that second one was kind of like the bounce I like. Yeah, that was that was kind of like the vibe I was going for. Remember, this was the original. Yeah, I just the bounce just not right right there for me. The bounce wasn't right. All right, so let's see when I gave it the, the new prompt. Let's see what it come up with. I'm not liking that one.
those voices in there though. I like the like I like the choir, but I still think this takes the this takes the I like that one. All right, so we're gonna call this 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 that reimagined it. So I'm good with that. Now let me uh let me do another one. There was another track that I had on here that I wanted to hear if I could breathe some new life into it. This was more on like the R&B. This was more on like a R&B side. So let me we remember we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna hit audio. We're gonna hit upload. And let me go through them real quick. Let's see. Let me see if we could get this was this was kind of like it's kind of like like a hip hop, like a hip 90s hip hop bop, something like that. Let's see. What do I want to prompt this as? Uh, electric drum, pronoun kick accomplished by deep. The story. You know what? Let I'm interested to see what it will do without me prompting it, because sometimes they give you this already and that that's what it's reading so let's let's just create it and let's see what happens suno's like a big toy man you get to have fun with it so you know you never know what it's going to kick back so we're going we're going to listen this thumbnail hard though look at this thumbnail i don't know what this is but this thumbnail is hard and they put a black dude there too that's interesting all right so let's see I know Suno's tripping right there. So sometimes when you put it in your when you put in your beats, whatever is reading is reading the wrong thing. This is like some this is like a create a dope skip hip hop beat with thin and leads. That's what I really want. As you can see, man, this is a way you can breathe life into 
old tracks that you just got sitting, tracks that you can't finish. It's easy, man. Just put it in Suno, cover it, remix it. And prompt, prompting is everything when it comes to kind of like getting to where you want to get to. As you can see, don't use Suno's generated prompt because it ain't going to give you what you want. Use what you think and what you feel, how you want to reimagine it. Now, you know, it took me a couple of prompts and a couple of uh, rounds to go to get to where I wanted. But, you know, out of the three, I feel like I was able to leave with something that I was kind of like happy with. So, you know, that's this is another way to use Suno to where it can enhance your production skills and breathe new life in the stuff that's sitting. Moan on a beat. This was another Suno video. Next video we're going to do, man, we're going to play around with some vocals and uh, we're going to play around with some more tools. So tap in. Stay tuned for that. We are gone. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Till next time. We out.